Okay, so in this tutorial I'll be uh, showing you guys the note length effect. And uh, so just open the browser here, MIDI effects and note length, drag that in. Close this. And um, okay, here we've got our note length. And basically what it does is while um, in, a, in um, well, usually if you want to turn the note on, uh, on the launchpad, you have to press it and hold it for as long as you want it to stay on. And then when you release it, it will turn off. What note length does is it says, okay, uh, we'll just keep the note on um, for a determined amount of time. So the most important thing is the length of time, obviously. So this style here. So if we say, for example, 1000, it's in milliseconds right now, you can switch between times. So if you don't like milliseconds, I want to work with a sync. You can work with beats. So like this is a quarter of a beat um, of 120 BPM. I don't like working with this. So I always use milliseconds because you can be so much more precise. So here's the staying on for one second, right? Um, and you can also do with gate. It is basically a percentage of that time that will stay on. So you can half it or double it. So if I do 50% of one second, stay on for half a second. If I do 200%, it will stay on for two seconds. Okay. So I'll just keep the gate for 100%. So it will really stay for the amount of time that we're specifying here. And um, okay, so basically, um, uh, that's basically it. So if I say 3000, it will stay on for three seconds. After you go, if you see here, if you go below 1000, it will say millisecond. If you do, for example, 3000, or as soon as you go above 1000, it will say seconds. So that's kind of useful. Um, so if you do three seconds, it will stay on for three. Um, one thing that's important to note, all of this stuff is not important, but trigger is quite important. So as you can see now, as soon as I press it, I can let go, but it turns on as soon as I press the button. So I've pressed the button, I'm holding it, but after three seconds, I'm still holding it, but it just turns off automatically. If I do trigger off, it means this effect will be triggered, not when I press the note down, so not, not on a note, on signal, if you remember the MIDI um, properties we talked about, it will tr be triggered by note off. So when I release it, it will turn on and last for three seconds. Now, this is super important because it can, it, it lets you create delays in your signal. So let's say we have this and it's like, basically this is simulating me holding it for three seconds and then letting it go, right? So this, it's note on and then after three seconds, it sends a note off. So basically what you can do is drag in another note length and say, okay, um, this is basically gonna create a delay of three seconds. And if I set the trigger to note off and I set it to like one second, uh, whoops, one second, basically um, what, what's coming out of this is I press the note, this turns on and it stays for three seconds. So this is, sending three seconds of a note and then after the three seconds it will send a note off into this one and this isn't triggered by note on but by note off so basically when i do this um let it go you see it it waits for three seconds so if i press this one two three and then it turns on so that's basically how you can um how you can create delays so kind of get your head around that um it's basically using this note as the delay. So when this note dies and sends the note off after three seconds, then this one, which is set to note off, it's, it's triggered by note off, will activate. So if I do like five seconds here, you can see one, two, three, turns on, and then two, three, four, five, and it turns off. So that's basically how note length works. And this is super useful for um, creating more advanced uh, light shows that go from one launch pad to another, but that's gonna be further down the road. So um, just keep in mind, this is um, a cool way to have um, effects last for longer and, um, and to basically simulate you holding down the note instead of you actually having to do that. So it's a good way to make sure your effects play all the way through also. So that's no length. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.